Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to another video. Well, my battery's dead in my truck. Cold weather, I guess, killed it. This ain't that old of a battery. This is a 2022 battery. It's dead in a turd, though. That ain't good. That ain't good, but I was going to move it because today we have a 2001 Chevy Impala and the blinker switch has gone bad on it. So, uh, yeah, there ain't no blinkers. There's blinkers half the time and then there ain't some of the time. So, yeah, kind of a little weird. Sometimes when you put your foot on the brake, it's a the blinkers hacked up you know and I, i've located down to this blinker switch i've already been taking it apart as you can tell oh 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 Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna pull this thing behind my truck, get to work on it, because it's got the hidden part anyway. And that thing tried to go in, I already got a new one. And if y'all know what, uh, this, this thing is, I have no idea. We am gonna plug it, it won't run without it. So I don't really know. But yeah, we're gonna be replacing this thing. Here, let's look. Let's see if our blinkers work today. We gotta turn our key forward. I hope we got blinkers. It's intermittent, basically. But it's a blinker switch, so. Yeah, we're going to replace the blinker switch today. So yeah, I guess first thing first, we gotta try to unplug this thing. I'll get it eventually. Got it. Okay. <sighs> then we got that thing. How do I get that out? Yep, I need a Phillips screwdriver. Cause that little thing on that bottom's gonna have to come off. I can take this all off. Okay, let's see. Hopefully y'all can see this. Snap this back in place. I can hold the damn thing. I'll hold the thing. Sorry. Edit. Okay, there we go. Now we got our thing. I'm gonna take her out. Out of the way. Now this kick panel should come off. There we go. Out of the way. Now we got this black little panel down here. Okay, now we got our kick panel off. Now we just gotta take this off. I cannot tell what kind of screw it has from here. Because this car is so low. Oh, it's got like a hex thing. Oh, digger. That thing's been broke into before. I ain't screwing that hole. Okay, let me go get some tools. Hopefully y'all can see something here. Here's the bottom of our steering wheel. We're gonna take this a little screw out here Oh. 
smoke. Okay. That's out. You gotta take your tilt uh, steering thing off. It just pulls out. Got it. That worked. Okay. Uh. Now this thing has got like hooks behind it. So you gotta first kind of pry it down if you can. Rubber little boots got to come off a little bit. You gotta pry your front down. Okay, this side popped down. This side don't want it. It's got little hooks back there. They gotta get loose. They gotta push it in. And I gotta pry out. Just like that. See those little hooks? Basically what you gotta do is push in and... Okay, so on this little cover up here, you got two little screws right there on each side. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, it's kind of hard to angle the light in a phone. But yeah, there's two uh, screws as you can see right there. And yeah, I just get a uh, five thirty seconds uh little socket slips right over it and gets it out so yeah go ahead and take those out and we'll move on to the next part okay so we got those two screws out now this should kind of pop up to be kind of a There's your top piece. How hard to film in this little car. The smart thing now would be to do would be disconnect your battery. That way, airbag don't blow out on your face. What you doing that for? That way, the airbag don't explode in my face. A bit corroded. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna chase the wires down, see if I can't find them, and I'll pick up back up. This thing's pretty tight down here. This thing has got three plugs, though. The first one's right here. You just gotta push these little two tabs on each side, and this wide thing will flip over to the other side, and your harness will come disconnected. And there's another one right there, and then there's one more, which is ran over the column to right there. That one with the yellow on it right there. I gotta try to get that disconnected. Okay, y'all, we got the connectors all on done. Now you guys zip, snip this little zip tie off up in here. And then your harness should pull out of here. You know, I'm gonna have to work with it, so yeah. Okay, y'all, I got the harness pulled out of there. There was another zip tie on down, so yeah. Now we're gonna get into removing this thing. You got a screw up right here, one up top. They're tight to get to. So it's gonna be a little hard. Come right out. Okay. 
I'm gonna work on it and getting this one out. I'll pick y'all up in a minute. Okay, y'all, so I got most of the screws out there. By the way, this is a, a T25. That's what fits that. So, yeah. Now this thing should just... Voila! Out with the old. And with the new. Pretty straightforward. Now we just gotta... Kinda... Uh, kind of uh, slap this up here and put the screws back in and put it back together. Yeah, I'll get it done. Okay, also I got the screws back in. One down here, one down here. I got my wire and harness right down here. I just gotta plug it up. One of the wires goes over the column to the other side and plugs up over there where I showed you way down there. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all plugged back up and then we'll start putting plastics back on. Okay, y'all, we got the <laughs> Blinkers, I mean the wiring harness all connected back up And yeah, she works turn the key forward we have Functioning blinkers the windshield wipers work and everything so, Yeah, and the airbag didn't go off. So that was a big thing change engine oil. Okay. Okay, so uh We got I got it all the plastic all up here back together some of the little clips broke, so it ain't quite all the way up, you know, but whatever. It'll work for now, at least I guess. So, yeah, I just got screw that little thing back up, and then I'll be done with this job. It works, so yeah, that's good. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry, the camera angle was kind of bad at some points, but, you know, you'll just have to deal with it. Okay, thanks for watching.